Oh, thanks to Stu for today's opening races on the final day of the season. It's been good to have Stu back in the commentary box with me this season. And so hope he's back next season for another stint. I've got a juvenile hurdle to kick me off today. It's a two-miler, of course, 0-120 to 120 handicap for the four-year-olds. And clever cookies at the top for Paul Rhodes. Ring of Kites, Martin Liddell, Thunderbird, Kevin Meenahan, Woods Takes, James Shea, Smart Key, Craig Beckwith, Nanina Tramp, Alex Cherry, Lost in Space for Graham Clutterbuck, Tim and Torn, Thomas Rogers, Billy Boggan for Stu Gray and Miliana Year for Ben Benici. So ten of them then. And away they go. And it's Miliana Year the first chance they get to the first and took a dive at that one. The leader, but they're all safely over the first of the nine that they've got to negotiate. And it's now Thunderbird who's got the lead, but Miliana Year seems quite keen to be the leader. Being driven up by the jockey to retake the lead despite that mistake at the first. And doesn't appear to want to be hanging about. Miliana Year obviously wants to get back home at the end of the season and maybe be a returner next year. Who knows? It's a five year old, but it's Miliana Year who's going to lead us into the second flight with Ring of Kites just showing second as they take the second flight then. So Miliana Year, the clear leader by three as they pass the packed enclosures and would he's come out for the final day of the season as they skip over flight number three. That'll be the last on the next circuit. And they pass the stand, then run past the chair. They'll go past the winning post and the water jump shortly. And then swing out left-handed for a complete circuit of this entry track. And it's Miliana Year that takes them past the winning post for the first time. Then a line of four clever cookie, smart key, Thunderbird and Ring of Kites. Just in behind them is Billy Boggan. Then comes Nanina Tramp. And then lost in space on the inside with Woods Takes. And then the one that's out of shot is Tiananmen Torn. But they're racing away then now towards flight number four with Miliana Year in the lead from Smart Key who's just about poked his head in a second for Craig Beckwith who's had a blinding season and still got a few more chances today as well uh, Clever Cookies in third then Ring of Kites on the outside is fourth then the Nina Tramp with the orange sleeves and Kevin Mina hands the Thunderbird on this near side with Stu Gray's Billy Boggan in the black jacket with a green sash rider on the far side as they take number four and we've got the back three lost in space Tiananmen torn and woods takes but the field is pretty tightly grouped now then as they make their way towards the next and ring of kites has just poked its head into the lead as they skip over flight five but a better jump maybe by Miliana year on the inside of seeing that one maybe just regain the initiative Billy Boggins in third as they take number six and ring of kites jumped into the lead there but it's now being immediately pressed by Billy Boggan on the outside Miliani drops back to third and Anita Trump is fourth then comes Clever Cookie and lost in space he's getting closer the jockey looks to have a double handful on that one at this point they're racing down towards the final three flights then now and it's Ring of Kites in the lead at the third last. Gets over it nicely from Billy Boggan in second. Nina Tramp third. Miliana Year sticking on on the inside. Lost in space. Still cruising. The one that's coming around the outside is Tiananmen Torn. And Thunderbirds lost its place a little bit. So too Smart Key. Clever Cookie switching to the inside. Woods takes switching to the outside. It's wide open. This one with two to jump. And Tiananmen Torn has now come through to take it up. So it's Tiananmen Torn in the lead then. Ring of Kites on this near side. Between the two of them Billy Boggan. These three from Thunderbird as they race down Towards the final two flights. Over it they go. Ring of Kites down on this near side. Tiaman Torn over on the far side. Billy Boggan between them. They race down towards the final flight. It's not a particularly long running over the final flight. They go. Ring of Kites lands in the lead. Coming with a little one on the outside now is Wood Stakes, but it's it's Ring of Kites from Billy Boggan and Wood Stakes and racing inside the final half. Well, Jockey has a sneaky look around. Ring of Kites thinks he's got it sewed up. Billy Boggan, one last lunge at the line, and Billy Boggan's got up to take him. Billy Boggan wins it. Wood Stakes second, and then um, Nanina Tramp, I think got up to be third and ring of kites what was the jockey doing he had that race sewn up he had a little look around see where they were and stopped and well i'm sure there's a wry smile on the face of my fellow commentator Stu gray as he takes that maybe a little bit of redemption for what he saw as um me out manoeuvring him in the Grand National with his horse getting boxed well this time mine decided to stop and he's got up so maybe that'll redress the balance just a little bit Billy Bogan for Stu Gray the winner Woods takes for James Shea was second Danita Tramp Alex Cherry third Tiaman Torn for Thomas Rogers fourth and Ring of Kites was fifth and the jockey Jay McGrath will not be riding for me again